Sometimes, after biting the dinosaur, the mosquito would land on the branch of a tree and get stuck in the sap. After a long time, the tree sap would get hard and become fossilized, just like a dinosaur bone, preserving the mosquito inside. everyone, this is my very first Lippy talkthrough tutorial I hope you enjoy. The first thing I'm doing here is outlining and then filling in my lips with a NYX lip liner aptly named Orange. The reason I outline as well as fill in the entire lip with the liner is to create an anchor for whatever's going to go on top as well as acting as a base for the color. I love, love, love me some NYX eye pencils slash lip pencils because you can use them for both eye and lip and they really have a great variety of color. Once our lips are nice and saturated with that orangey eyeliner slash lip liner pencil, we're gonna go in with Butterscotch Caramel Eyeshadow, also by NYX, and pack it on top of the lip liner. This is gonna begin to shift our tone of the burnt orangish liner to more of the amber fossilized shade that we're aiming for, while also creating a solid base for the shell coating that's gonna come later. Now everyone is always asking me what brushes I use for my lip art, and I guess I can reveal my secret that most of my brushes actually just come from the craft store. They're teeny tiny, and I haven't found a line that actually makes them this small yet. Hint, hint. So I'm using that teeny tiny little guy to begin creating the body of the mosquito. The black that I'm using is actually a liquid lipstick by Kat Von D Beauty called Witches. It's one of the products I found that truly doesn't move. And since we're creating a fossilized effect with product later, I wanted to be sure it wasn't gonna budge when I put that on top. You know, like a fossil. Okay, while I'm giving away all my lip art secrets, I wanna show you guys a really good one. When what you're drawing on your lips falls between the crevasse of lip art death, also known as your mouth, draw the line inside of your top lip and then press your lips together slightly before the product dries so that it transfers from the top lip to the bottom lip. Here's what I'm talking about. There's the line. Press your lips and see that little transfer right there? That is how you know where to pick up your line so that there's no gap or jump in your image. Voila, the magic of lip art with clip art. As I continue to draw his little squished legs, I'm going in with the eyeshadow again to create some dimension, making some legs look further forward than the others. Speaking of dimension, I'm gonna go in with a white eyeshadow and add some highlights in the amber. I'm using Furless Cosmetics Loose Pigment Shadow in Violate and their Precision Lip Brush to create lighter flecks of yellow around our little Skeeter friend. And don't be afraid to go on top of that black line that we used to create the mosquito because we want him to look like he's covered in the amber. Now you could totally walk away right now with a pretty cool looking lippy, but we're gonna add an extra step using Alcone's Third Degree, which will make this look really cool. Third Degree is a silicone mold compound that is awesome, and we're gonna use it to layer on top of the lips to give a three-dimensional fossilized effect. Get ready to get sticky with this stuff. You definitely need to wait in between layers and for sure don't put your lips together until it's dry. I probably did about three or four layers until I got that bubble effect. It's kind of like the people who are doing 100 layers of nail polish, except ain't nobody got time for 100 layers. Three or four will do. After all your layers, you should totally be looking like Kylie Jenner. It's like the cheapest, stickiest lip injection you'll ever have. I added a little more of the Furless Cosmetics yellow pigment. And that is essentially the look. Now all you need is that old guy's cane from Jurassic Park with the mosquito and the amber at the top, and you'll be all set. Did I mention how weird and crazy this will be to remove? Ah! Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. If you do recreate the look, make sure you hashtag Ryan Kelly MUA so I can see it. Don't you dare forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Now I kind of want to go watch Jurassic Park.